Hello, this is Miss Luck. After watching that video, aren't you excited for the school year? I'm convinced that biology is going to be your favorite class. Take out your notebooks. I'd like you to write in a font bigger than normal that this will be our first unit on ecology. Maybe make it in font of like 64 in your notebook. So now that you've had some idea of what characteristics there are in life, let me go through a little bit more of biology, the study of life. What characteristics do all living things share? They all have cells. They all have some kind of genetic material, RNA or DNA. They have some way of reproducing. They respond to their environment and their use of energy all makes them living things. Did that line up with the characteristics you listened to in this video? Ecology is the study of how organisms interact with each other and their environment. So again, in your notebook, can you make a simple sketch to remember the term, the meaning, and let me try that again. Make a table in your notebook with these terms, meanings, and a sketch in your, in your table. Write down the term that I'm about to go through, give its meaning, and then I want you to sketch or doodle some kind of example in your notebook. Biotic it is Greek for life. The meaning is living. An example are plants, animals, fungi. So in your notebook, write down the word biotic, the term, the meaning, living, and sketch an example. I'm not going to judge you on your drawings. Wait, I'm the world's worst drawer. Wait till you see me. Abiotic. Again, Bio meaning life, but abiotic means not. So the meaning is not living. Examples are water, wind, sun, rain, soil. So in your notebooks, write down abiotic, meaning not living, and then make a picture, but maybe not of wind. <laughs> okay. Then we, I want to go through the hierarchical levels of ecology. So things that might seem small or more specific to large and most inclusive. Organism, the one-celled living thing. Um, I scratch that. One single living thing, not a one cell. There are one cell, that paramecium there in the middle. Here's a one-celled organism, but it can be a mushroom, a butterfly a tree, draw a picture in your notebook. Population, population is a group of organisms that are the same species and live in the same place and time. So here is a population of penguins. It can be a population of cardinals, population of squirrels. Community. All of the populations living together in one habitat. So it, in this example, you see the fish and the bear living next to the river. They're all living together in the same habitat. An ecosystem, all living things, and it includes the abiotic factors as well as the biotic factors. So it would be the rabbit living near the water and the tree in that temperature where the sun is. That's an ecosystem. And biosphere are all parts of the planet that contain and support life. Our example, the earth. So to recap, our biotic factors are organisms, populations, communities, and our biotic and abiotic together would include your ecosystems and your biosphere. And here's another example of what I mean by being most specific to most broad. An organism, just one, a group of organisms, population, a group of populations, 
in a community, many communities in an ecosystem, and all our ecosystems together make up a biosphere. Make sense? Now it's your turn. In your notebook, can you create your own example? Start with an organism. What's your favorite animal? What would it look like in a population? Who would live nearby in its community? What does it eat? Who does it interact with? Who would be, what would the non-living factors in this habitat be? And then the earth. Write this in your notebook. It'll be a good way to start next class to see how you did.